The most commonly abused drug is one that's easy to access, alcohol. According to a national survey on drug use and health, 28.9 million people ages 12 and older had alcohol, alcohol use disorder in 2023. And in tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Lauren Solik brings you the journey to sobriety for a Mitchell woman who started drinking as a young teenager. These days, Kylie Hansen has some extra twinkle in her eyes. It's just a blessing to be alive and to be happy and genuinely live a good life. For 20 years, the light in her eyes was dimmed by addiction. I started drinking at the age of 13. It's just kind of what you do in a small town. There's not a lot to do and it's pretty common. And so I never really considered it a problem, I guess. In high school, she started experimenting with drugs. I've done everything from marijuana, acid, mushrooms. You know, I even tried meth before. I was a all or nothing kind of girl. I'm, I was down for to try anything. And I am definitely a thrill seeker. Then came college. I definitely started drinking a lot more heavily than I would drink in the morning, morning, noon, and night, hard liquor. I ended up getting two DUIs and I spent some time in jail. Still, she didn't see a problem. You know, it's just, like I said, kind of what you do around here. But then the drinking and marijuana use started taking their toll. For many years, I just got violently ill and I just still couldn't stop. It was terrible. I would throw up days on end. I ended up in the ER so many times. She even received a diagnosis. I have been diagnosed for years with something called cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome. And that's where the puking, it just comes in cycles for days on end. And you develop some kind of allergy, I guess they would say, and for a daily smoker of marijuana, a long-term daily smoker. Kylie's mom, Dawn, tried pleading with her. I just would yell at her and just, you know, why, why can't you just quit? You're going to die. And I guess until she was ready, it wasn't going to happen. I had wanted to quit so many times before, and I had tried, but... I just couldn't, and I couldn't go more than, you know, a few days to a week. Eventually, something changed. And I got to a point where, you know, if I was feeling like death every day of my life, I was like, then I would just rather die because it's not any way to live. But I chose to live, and I asked for help, and I'm just really glad that there was help there for me. You know, my family was there. My mom, I called her on the morning of August 15th, 2022, and I said, I'm ready to get help. I was just so proud of her for calling me, and I thought, if she's calling, I'm going and taking her. Kylie spent a week in the withdrawal management program at the link in Sioux Falls. After that, she got inpatient and outpatient treatment through Avera. Now it's been over a year since I've done anything at all, and I'm super happy. I haven't been sick since, and life has been really great. It's a whole new world. She's a whole different person. I feel like I lost her when she was 13. Now Kylie finds thrills through concerts and travel instead of alcohol and drugs. I like to still really live life because I'm finally living a life that's worth living. And I am not scared to let anything hold me back anymore. And she has this message for anyone else dealing with their own addictions. Some people are scared to share their, their struggle. And I am there to show that, you know, I struggled too but I made it out and that's why I'm there to try and help anyone else that wants to get out because it's hard you know? and it can feel like you're all alone and you're not all alone. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Lauren Solick. Kylie received a scholarship from Emily's Hope to help pay for her treatment at Avera and now her workplace, the bowling alley in Mitchell, carries the Emily Hope 
fentanyl drug testing strips. And stay tuned for tonight's Inside Kelloland, where we'll take a closer look at the fentanyl crisis in South Dakota. You can also find the special in its entirety on kelloland.com.